I'm Sando Jambo and I head corporate responsibility at Safaricom. One of the first things you'll notice when you enter Safaricom is that we say our mission is to transform lives. And I think that really sets us apart from any other commercial aspiration. Uh, and so in so doing, we purpose ourselves and we are very value driven. And that's how issues such as children's rights and rights as a whole come into play in our overall corporate strategy. I think the way that we've positioned it is that it's a business issue. Yeah? Um, we are a telco company, but we are also a responsible business. And as a responsible business, it is important for us to address uh, children's rights. So you'll see it not under our social responsibility mandate, but as part of our core business. And because of that, we now have champions across every division who take on this responsibility as a key business imperative. Um, each division has set out objectives and key issues that they want to address, and these will be worked through and measured and tracked through the year. But you know, once you start, it's actually very evident, and there's a whole list of areas that you could work around. In fact, I think the challenge for us is going to be prioritizing and uh, you know, taking on activities that we can actually measure and track through the course of the year. So we will work with organizations such as Save the Children because we actually do not have that specific skill set within our business. We're certainly aware about the importance of children's rights and business principles, but one of the great things about our partnership with Save the Children is they're going to work with us to develop the necessary skills, develop a framework, and develop measurement tools that we can use. Uh, I think the second thing is also it's good to have an accountability partner who is outside of the organization. So I believe they'll help us keep on track and uh, just make sure that we meet what we've said that we're going to do. It may be a difficult business case to put across. I'd imagine in a boardroom, there'd be a very uh, heated discussion around it. But you know, we take the position that it's the right thing to do. No, there isn't money there now, but there's money there in the future when you have a business that is aware about rights, a business that is sure that its supply chain will continue to function because it doesn't violate rights, a business where you have an employee environment where your employees can thrive and prosper, um, they can enjoy maternity and paternity leave and benefits, a business where your marketing and advertising is never questioned because you have protected and promoted rights in the right way. I think in all of those instances, it only sets you up to be in business for the longer term. and that makes the business case.